Guys, this morning I'm going to talk about British citizenship cancelled unlawfully in the United Kingdom. This relates to nullification and deprivation. Deprivation is governed by the British and Nationality Act 1981, it's strictly regulated, and nullification is a civil thing that's a little bit more vague. But the point being is you have these two things. Nullification means that you were never a British citizen. And it's normally used in extreme cases or clerical. Let's call it clerical. Let's, for, for example, say there was a son of a missionary out in Uganda and they applied to become British not knowing that they were entitled to it already because both their parents were British and they'd spent their entire childhood and never, you know, for whatever reason, they was completely unaware of it. They would nullify a lot of the information simply because he doesn't need to apply because he's already British. Because <laughs> you know. The, you would nullify his application to become British because he already is. Very simple. Now, the reason for that is very obvious. That there is no reason to apply for that. He just needs to apply for a passport and other confirmation that he was British already. Very simple. Nullification. Nullification basically means that anything attached to that is wiped off. Doesn't exist. Now the problem you've got is between 2007 and 2000, 2007, yeah, 2017. Um, I think it was 200, at least 260 people have been nullified of their British citizenship, um, which was actually unlawful. Um, what they should have been is deprived, which is deprivation. Nullification, obviously, if you're 100% sure this person is British. There is no need to appeal it or anything else because it's that way, you know, don't need it. Um, but this is the problem. Nullification, there is no right of appeal. Difficult to challenge in court. While you have the deprivation, you can challenge it. And on top of that, you may have a right to remain in the UK, even if your partner hasn't. An example of this was a Spanish couple. Um, well, sorry, a Spanish woman moved to the UK, married a guy, become um, British citizens, and they found out this guy had entered the UK illegally uh, under asylum. Now, the thing is, he didn't come from where he said, and they found out, etc. So years later, it catches up with him. They find out that he was never supposed to be in the UK in the first place. Now, deprivation, because that was years before she, there, he actually met his now wife, he could have the right of deportation and his British citizen removed. His wife is still entitled to be British because she was completely unaware of the circumstances and everything else that went on before they'd even met. As such, she cannot be seen as being deceptive and doing things illegally because, in fact, she was completely unaware of it and it was before they even met. So she cannot be responsible for his actions at that time. This is why deprivation is important because the challenges may not be directly involved with the person that um, filled in their application with false information or whatever it is, whatever they did to highlight this with the Home Office in the first place, but the family members may actually still be entitled to stay in the United Kingdom for other reasons. But the problem with nullification, goodbye all of you, because it's all tied with the, the one person in the first place which has been completely nullified and it cannot be challenged. It cannot be uh, pushed back to say, hang on a minute, this isn't correct. And this is why I think the Home Office has gone down this route. In my personal opinion, that quite, quite simply, nullification means no challenges. No challenges equals they can do what they want. And as such, if they've got enough reasons to nullify instead of deprivation, it means that they don't have to go through the process of appeals, they don't have to process all these other people that are attached to these people. Instead, nullified means first person and the entire family are all nullified. None of them are British citizens anymore. Deprivation is far more complex, and that's why I think they did it. Um, now, process of correcting this, that's another story for another day. But I just wanted to make you aware of the difference between nullified and deprivation. And I'll put the link below so you can actually read up on it as well in case you're having any of these sort of issues yourself. Thanks for watching.